The Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Vertison Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. So from a disease uh, control perspective, uh, one of the basic principles in uh, implant pathology is the disease triangle and it's a good tool to help you think about whether it'll be a good decision to spray a fungicide. So the first uh, element of the disease triangle is the host crop and factors that affect the host crop, of course if you're planting lentils or peas, is what is, what is my rotation? Uh, how many years have I had between those crops? Another uh, decision that you make on the farm is your choice of variety selection. So from a variety perspective, uh, you're undoubtedly going to choose a variety based on its yield and quality characteristics, but you're also going to be looking at disease tolerance. So then having an understanding of the risk of disease uh, with your host crop, uh, you can help manage that through your variety selection, through your rotation. So the second element of the disease triangle is the, the disease or the pathogen. Sometimes you may hear the word inoculum, and it's essentially the disease organism. Is it going to be in the field to attack your crop? And that could be depending on the uh, amount of crop residue, uh, the rotation, and uh, a good chance that there is going to be a good source of inoculum, especially as farmers have tightened their rotations, there's a bigger chance that they're going to see um, inoculum present in the field. It can uh, overwinter on stubble in a lot of cases. Uh, some diseases like sclerotinia have several host crops, so even though you've rotated your crops, uh, that disease can, can carry from crop to crop. Let's say canola and pulses are both host to sclerotinia, white mold. Uh, that's another factor. So again, that second element is the disease, and that's another way, a, another factor uh, that you need to assess in you know, thinking about uh, the decision to spray a fungicide. So the third element of the disease triangle, which is the one that's probably the least in our control, is the environment. And thinking about 2012, we've had uh, very warm, very excellent growth, growing conditions, sometimes a little bit too much moisture, but a lot of moisture, a lot of heat, uh, some humidity, those are conditions that will, will be favorable for the development of disease for fungal uh, diseases in crops. And so thinking about the disease triangle, if you have a susceptible host, if you have the disease inoculum, and then you have the, uh, the environment, then those factors will come together to increase the risk of disease. And, and, and thinking of it in that way is a good way to, 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 to think about how to make a good decision about whether to spray a fungicide or not. So if we think about the disease triangle as, as a tool to, to make a decision on uh, whether to spray a fungicide, we've considered the host, uh, the disease, the environment, and um, uh, it, it, it's a tool to help us make a decision, but there is still a leap of faith with uh, applying a fungicide. And uh, a good way to think about fungicides is prevent prevention, preventative approach. It's not seeing a big problem and going and fixing it. It's measuring the risk and making a, an application ahead of the problem. So you might see a little bit of symptoms in the field when you're, when you're scouting, uh, but in, in a large part, you're spraying before you have the major infection, before the epidemic starts. Uh, if you think about 2012 and whether it's peas, lentils, or chickpeas that you're growing, we've seen a lot of moisture, um, a lot of uh, the environment has been conducive for disease. And so I think a lot of farmers are, are, are preparing to make a fungicide application based on that measurement of risk and um, and again on a preventative approach.